<clears throat> Off the grid. Okay, let's do this. 5,900 speed points. Damn. This guy seems like he's pretty serious then. But at least I got a long track, so it gives me more of a chance to play Untamed for a win. So let's give this a go. Let's, let's see if I can nail at least 47.5 seconds. That's a really good time for a lap. If I didn't mess up on that last ESF, I always try to pull out like that. Really shouldn't do that. Oh, that kind of sounded bad, but oh well. I managed to get him by almost three seconds. Happy with that. Managed to get through the sponsorship. Let's flick it out of the corner, get that shit out of the way. Let's move on to the next round. I decided to take up arms on a new little challenge. So we're going to try this. Um... In the campaign, we've got three replayable races for each category. We're going to start off with chapter one on the first race. Now I've decided that I was going to try something new. And I was actually going to play with each... Um, I was going to play from chapter one to ten with a street car. I know I've beaten the boss in chapter 10 with my AE86, so I figured that maybe I should just do from chapter 1 all the way to 10 with my AE86. I love this car. I admire this car. So I figured I'd give it a go. There's three races, three replayables for each race, and I figured that I will play each race um, with each control type. So Touch is my most favorite um, control type. I've played Touch for... 20 days plus now so i'm gonna change it to virtual which is my least favorite and we're gonna have to give it a go now, i haven't played virtual in a while so it's gonna be quite interesting how i play this but at least with the ae86 it's a lot more easier to control virtual so we're gonna give this a go oh shit i was gonna try to attempt this without creation but i don't know what what happens. Not bad. Not bad. Could have been worse. But that seems to be pretty legit. Well, granted, it is the, it is the slowest car in the game, even though it's maxed out. But still, there was some relatively good control playing virtual. So I'm happy with that run. And we'll try tilt next now. Tilt will be a lot more challenging for me. Tilt is like something that I don't play at all. And um, so we're going to give it a go. Um, I've only ever played Tilt like a handful of times. But I'm always open to challenging myself in this game because I need a new challenge. Playing by touch, especially for 20 days, um, it can get boring. And this game is, so far this game is boring to me now. There's no challenges really left for me to do. I've um, got vinyl masteries for all my hyper and super vehicles now. Except for the Ferraris because you can't get um, vinyls for Ferraris. So we're going to give... Oh, shit. Can't even control this. Okay. So, yeah. Oh, my God. You know what? Not so bad. It's hard. Oh shit. Oh shit. Cutting it. 
cutting it really close there, but no, he actually did better than virtual in that round. Damn, 12 seconds left. Wow, not so bad. Pretty happy with that. I don't need the cash, I don't need the parts. I do this just because it gives me something to do. Um, I'm pretty sure you need to make a new video and kind of, you know, just show some skill and blah blah blah. Now, I got 12.7 seconds in that round, I believe. I can't quite record the time that I did. I, all I know is I did 12 seconds. Now we're going to play in touch, which is my favorite. Hopefully I can beat that 12 seconds. I'll see if I can actually make more than 13.5 seconds remaining. Should be able to nail it. Shouldn't be all that hard. It's just a little disappointing that the max speed of the AE86 is only 301 kilometers per hour. But we'll definitely give it a go and see how we get on. Touch is my favorite though, so I should definitely be able to do 13.5 seconds on a boat. We can 14 more like that, you never know. The map is relatively short. Don't look like I made any mistakes in the previous two races. So we'll just see how this one will be trained. As long as I can maintain a top speed, should be sweet. Ah, wow, only 12.8. Which means that I had a good run, basically all other cars. Because that, in my opinion, was a decent run. And to know that I made under 13 seconds time left means that even my tilt race was pretty decent. Well, I tell you, at the end of the day, the max speed is only 301 kilometers per hour. And, you know, you can go higher than that in a turn, even if you were to wide drift completely. So, um, yeah, we'll try chapter number two. Give that a go, the AE86, we're going to go back to virtual steering again when the round starts and see how well I can do with this. These, um, these bots are real easy for now, so, you know, I'm not expecting to have too much competition or anything like that. It's all about just improving your game, especially with all other kinds of um, tracks and steering mechanisms. you got to get used to it. So, I'm kind of liking virtual. But let's see if I can continue some sort of momentum here. Yeah. Let's see if I can sneak past these cars without even hitting them. Oh, and I did too. Now, I want, I really want to drift as much as I can in all these races. I really, do. wow, okay, that was just bad. Oh my god, you know what? Probably can't drift in all these races, but um, let's see what we can do. Maintaining drift in all these races is real difficult, especially on virtual. But hey, I'm here for the challenge. Oh my god, I'm gonna hit 40 seconds. Wow, almost 41. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Considering that is one of my favorite city tracks ever. I love this city track, especially that, this route. But that was just a bad, bad run. Now, I'm expecting my tilt run will be a lot more better than that because it's, that was just awfully shit. So we're going to give this one a go. And hopefully I can do well with it. But we'll see. You never know. Each race is basically a whole new attempt and a whole new race. So mistakes are either bound to happen or they're not going to happen at all. Who knows? But let's see if I can try to minimize it as much as possible. Let's give it a go. I'm pretty, it kind of raises a bit of enthusiasm in this game just thinking about it. Using a different method brings back a challenge and so far I'm actually quite happy with the results. So, let's see. Oh my god, I can't believe this. Wow. Oh, that man. I barely even, yeah, I don't really like to, oh shit, I don't really like to, you know, have my phone, like, completely, like, still, it's hard, it's hard as, but, you know, I'll definitely give it a shot, I'm open to it, stop, point seven seconds in airtime, I'm always down to get airtime seconds, there's nothing wrong with that, 
the more it time the better I suppose. We've got we got challenges. No limit challenges of airtime and nitro, so challenges are always there, even though it's endless, there's always something there. But 42 seconds, that was just bad. That was horrible. I'm hoping to, you know, show a bit more skill with my normal touch skill, so we'll give touch a go now. I like this track, so I'm hoping to at least do 38 seconds. Granted, I'm only saying that it's two seconds better than my current best right now with virtual. Reason being is that this car only goes up to 301 kilometers per hour. There's only so much you can do with a car that is that slow in this game. So, 301, it's really bad. It's surprising that I was able to get through the chapter 10 boss with an AE86, but, you know, sometimes you get lucky when you boost nitro and you save enough nitro, then you definitely um, can, can get that little additional speed, but you gotta try to get as much of it as possible. So let me just get my groove on there. Okay. Oh shit, we're gonna hit a cut. Damn it. Wow, and that stopped me dead. Talk about a good race going back. That was it. Yeah, we got some new misses there, but it's too bad. I kind of already have my victories completed for the day. It only takes about an hour, so let's just finish this off. And the virtual turns out to be the best mode, which it just has now. <sighs> wow, I can't believe that virtual was the best of all the races there. Granted, I got a few near misses there, and I did get stopped to like 150Ks. Huh, virtual won that round in chapter 2. Damn, that was fun and quite strange. But hey, that was actually pretty interesting. It really did surprise me. Guess the enthusiasm is kind of coming back. So now that we've done with chapter 2, it's time to get on to the boss. And how about that? I don't have enough fuel for the boss, unfortunately. It takes two fuel for each race of the boss. You know what? We're gonna do one race with the boss. How about that? And we're gonna play with my wor worst ability, which is in fact virtual. Because virtual, even though I did well in the second race, in the second replayable race, I should say, um, virtual is still my least favorite form of gameplay. So we're gonna go back to virtual now. We're gonna give this a go against the boss now. I'm gonna definitely beat the boss because my PR is like double the boss. But, you know, uh, I just try to hope for a good race. You know, it's drifting. You know, I'll try to play, play it as if it's touch format and see how well how this actually works out. You know what? It's actually not so bad. Playing it as a form of touch is actually pretty good. Thing is, I really want to drift as much as I can, even though. Like my drifts are really wide and they're kind of like unpleasant and everything. I gotta kind of learn how to drift and control that steering wheel. Freaking annoying, but oh, two near misses! Oh shit, I did two. Oh, and now I messed it up because I got excited. Damn it! Wow, and 43 seconds. Not bad, not bad. Four, three, three, three. Could have been better, but hey, got a little excited there. That was cool though, managed to slip through in between those two cars. Now I just hope for 15k. I hope this works. Oh, thank the Lord, Jesus was with me. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, find, finding it entertaining, you feel like you want to watch a little bit more, then just give me a buzz. You can always message me, Hangouts, Google, YouTube, wherever. Let me know what you think. Thank you very much, and yeah, hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. I most likely will, because I always do. Thank you.